Good evening everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about an opportunity. Now this is not the kind of opportunity that you'd be used to hearing about. Not many people would take up this opportunity. But when it presents itself, you will have a choice whether to take that opportunity or to let it go. I'm going to talk to you about the opportunity to help. As we celebrate India at 75, let me tell you, in this country, even if something starts small, it still has the potential to impact millions of people given the size of the population. Trust me, let me tell you my story. It all started back in April 2021 when the Prime Minister announced the vaccination for the age group 18 to 45. Like everyone else in my age group, I also wanted to get vaccinated. I logged into the portal and saw that I couldn't find any slots. Now, if you remember back then, in 15 minutes, the portal is going to log you out. So unless you find a vaccine slot within that frame of time, you're going to have to repeat the whole process again. The whole issue was the huge disparity in the demand and supply of vaccines. And when I searched online to see if there were any alternatives, I found that there was an API for Coven. So I wrote a small script around that API, which can quickly tell me if there are any open slots available in my area. I used that script and soon enough, I was able to find a slot for myself. And I booked that in Coven. And I sent this script out to my friends saying, hey, if you guys are still struggling to get a vaccination slot, use this script. You will be able to quickly find one. I started getting replies saying, uh, you know, can you modify the script for a different city? Because that's where I live right now. That's when I understood that this was not a city-specific problem, but a pan-India problem. And that was my opportunity to help. So the script that I had created isn't too complex in itself. I'm sure there are thousands of engineers who can do a bit better. But there are a few things which I did right, and that's something which I would like to share with you today. First, start simple, but start fast. Now, when you're presented with an opportunity to help, ensure that the help is timely. It doesn't matter if the help that you can provide at that particular instant is the best or is the most optimal. But as long as you are providing that timely help, it will be helpful for the people who are in need. And that's what I did. I just wanted to share with you the first uh, uh, draft of that particular web application which I had created as they sought out that issues. Let me tell you, the first thing which I had created was a very simple web application. All you needed to do was to select the state and the district where you wanted to get vaccinated. And it will quickly tell you the list of centers which are available for your age group. Now, this was not the most optimal solution, as I later found out, but it did its job. And a tech journalist had uh, seen my website. And he tried it out, found that it was working. And he reached out to me, and he wrote a post about it. That's when the Under 45 project started getting viral. It soon got to a stage where so many people were logging into the site to check for the vaccine slots. And it started getting really difficult to maintain that server. Tens and thousands of people were sharing this site over social media. And even news organizations started covering this particular site. So due to the load on the server, the server finally crashed. I was able to bring back the server. However, I understood that this was not really a scalable solution. Now, I had to think slightly differently. That's when I came to the next uh, point, which is improvise. Now, when you set out to do something, you may suddenly feel that that was not the ideal way to go about it. For example, when I created this particular web application, 
it was, every user had to come and visit the web application, search for a slot, and only then able to find the slot. And given that I understood that this was not scalable, I decided to do it slightly differently. I, instead of people coming to the site and checking for uh, the slot, I ran a script which will continuously check if there are any slots available in the area. And when it finds one, it will quickly send an alert to that respective Telegram channel in which anybody can subscribe to. And when they will be able to see that particular alert, they can go and book that in Coven. Improvise. Never hesitate to change what you initially set out to do. Thirdly, collaborate. So when I was working in this uh, particular vaccination alert system, I understood that there were other people in different parts of the country who were doing something similar. So I reached out to them over Twitter and I asked, hey, can you do this together? Like instead of doing these things in parallel, which makes no sense, why don't we form together as a team and do it for the greater good of the people? And that's what they did. And in the same spirit of uh, collaboration, I even worked with the startup Healthy Find Me, where I'm currently working. And together we built a system, the vaccination booking system, which was one of the best in the country. Fourth, expand. When you find that uh, there are more people who need help with the uh, things which you are trying to do, ensure that you expand your horizon. In my case, I saw a tweet from somebody based out of Delhi who said, hey, with your uh, vaccination alerts, I was able to book a slot in Delhi, but my folks are back in Assam, and it would be really nice if you could do something similar for them as well. I was like, absolutely. My intention was never to keep these alerts just for the metro cities or the tier one cities, and I wanted to expand it to the rest of the country as well. And because I collaborated with others, it gave me some time to work on building a system which, is, which can be expanded pan-India as well. At the peak of it, we were servicing around 50 lakh subscribers using our alerts. And each of those subscribers were booking slots for their family, their friends, their relatives, uh, you know, their neighbors, people across the street, and that's something which we always encourage because like, unless the whole country gets vaccinated, nobody is really safe from COVID. So, we, uh, as more and more people started using this application, it, it really started getting, uh, you know, popular. And there are a few things which, you know, you need to keep in mind when you're presented with this opportunity to help. Genuinely care for the people. Now, this is something which is really important and uh, something which you need to keep in mind. In, in my case, I was part of several telegram channels for districts which were difficult to get a slot in. And I joined these channels to ensure that I can check the trends of these vaccination slots. And when I find the trend, oh, okay, it finally comes up, sorry. Let me quickly go through, sorry, just, yeah. So, um, when, when I finally uh, find uh, the trend in which like the uh, vaccines are getting posted, I uh, sent a message to the group saying, hey, in under 30 minutes, it's, it's a good chance that you're getting, going to get a slot. So just be ready, stay logged in so that you can book the slot. And that really helped a lot of people. So genuinely care for the people that you're trying to help. Now, what is the reward that you're going to get for this opportunity to help? Let me tell you, the profound happiness that you feel when you know that you were able to be of help to someone in need is something that you need to experience and not something that I can explain in words. There are a lot of things that I will keep in mind for the rest of my life. There was this one lady who was a mother of a three-year-old child. Her husband had lost his job during the start of the pandemic. So she was the sole breadwinner in the family. Her employer required her 
to be vaccinated before joining back to work. So unless she gets a vaccination slot, she's not going to get vaccinated. And unless she's vaccinated, she can't join back to work. And sadly, without joining back to work, she's going to be in a loss of pay. So the entire livelihood of that family was depending on that vaccination slot. So she read about my work in the local newspaper. She created a Twitter account because I was responding to people over Twitter. And she reached out to me and said, hey, I've been trying to get a slot for the last three weeks and I have not been successful. Can you please help? When I heard her background, I called my friends and I said, come what may, we need to find her a slot by tomorrow. So we all got together and we tried our best and we managed to find her a slot. The profound happiness that she expressed when she finally got that slot, it was a sense of relief, joy and absolute gratitude to each one of us for helping her find a, find a slot is something that I'll cherish for the rest of my life. Now, this may have been a one-off uh, opportunity. This opportunity may not really arise in the future. But let me tell you one thing. There are thousands of people who need help in this country. And there are thousands of ways in which each of us can make a difference. So the next time you are presented with an opportunity to help, I hope you'll make the right choice. Thank you.